Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your VD-Link SX or EX and how to configure Vetronic Hand Flasher. First of all, you need to download a set of programs, which I will link in the description down below. We're going to start by installing the driver. This file is going to be called cdm 212364 setup and you want to make a left click on it and a right click and click on Extract All. Extract. New window should open, double click on the setup, and when prompted, select yes. Click on extract. Next, I accept this agreement, next again, and on finish. Now, plug in your cable and open the control panel. Click on hardware and sound, and under devices and printers, you want to select the device manager. A new window should open, and you want to look for ports, COM, and LPT. Expand it, select USB serial port, make a right click, properties, port settings, and under bits per second, choose the highest possible setting and click on OK. Make a right click again, properties, port settings, but this time you want to click on advanced. Now, for the latency timer, Make sure that the default setting from 16 has been set to 2 milliseconds. Click on OK. OK again. And for our last time, make sure that all settings are still in place and correct. Also take note of the COM4 or whatever number is going to be shown for your interface. Now you have completed the setup of the cable. Now we are going to get to the Tronic can flasher. However, before we can start installing it, we need to install additional runtimes needed for its functionality. To do this, there's a so-called all-in-one runtime installer. Make a double click and the program should start to extract itself. Don't be scared that the program is in general. When prompted again, select yes. Now you should see this window. You're not going to need all of these programs. As an example, we don't need Microsoft Silverlight or Java or DirectX. Once you untick them, click on Install. Once the installation has been completed, the program will automatically close itself. Next, we want to extract the Tronic Can Flasher. Make a left click on it once, right click, extract all, click on extract, and again, a new window is going to open. Double click on the setup, click on next, next, and next, and when prompted, select yes again. Click on close, and now we can open the Tronic Can Flasher. You most likely won't be able to select any of these tiles. This is because no ECU type has been selected. Therefore, you want to select Tronic 8 main. Then you can click on settings and under adapter type, select the OBD link SX. Under adapter, make sure that the correct COM port has been set. In my case, it was four, not three. Under COM speed, select one megabyte. Then save and you're ready to go. Installation and configuration has been completed.